Good evening, I'm Devin Negretti. Good evening, I'm Devin Negretti. Thanks for joining us, I'm Devin Negretti. It's the first game back at the K since the Royals won the 2015 World Series, and fans from around the area couldn't contain their excitement. On to Platte County, where a teenager is facing rape charges. Dakota Dale Cochran of Platte City is in jail tonight. Tradition returned to the Pony Express Museum this weekend as kids lined up for the annual Pumpkin Fest Parade. With the holiday season among us comes extra dangers for house fires. Four out of five fires from real Christmas trees occur from now to January. Here's how you can stay safe this holiday season. Devin Negretti is live near Savannah Road and 3rd Street in St. Joseph, where the sinkhole swallowed a car this morning. Devin? Bridget, as you can see behind me, there is gravel and mud where crews have been working throughout the day. And I want to take you over here where you can see how deep this sinkhole is. Now, this started at 6 o'clock in the morning when the water main broke. The street was flooded with water as chunks of the pavement disintegrated. City crews closed off the road to prevent traffic from coming through. Those roads are still currently closed. Bridget, one fire truck has been stationed here throughout the evening to monitor flare-ups just like this one. And you can still feel the heat from the fire that began around 1.30 this morning. It just feels good to say the world champion Royals, doesn't it, Devin? Yes, it does, Bob, and I know all these fans here feel the same way. Now, this line, it is at the back of the store right now, and it has wrapped around to almost the front at the door, and I'm joined now by one of the store's employees, and he, Alan Kearns, is holding up one of the rally towels that we have going on here. And, Alan, can you tell me, you know, what has it been like for you throughout this season? Alan, as you can see behind me, the Civic Arena has been transformed for this magical event. Hundreds of guests have come out to support the Hillcrest Transitional Housing of Buchanan County. Alan and Bridget, the scare came for a female student who attends here at Central High School. She told her counselor a man approached her in his car and offered her a ride multiple times until she became uncomfortable. Bridget, city crews have been working for more than 15 hours trying to clear these roads as the snow has fallen. Now I'll get out of the way so you can see behind me right here on Woodbine, you can see some of the slush build up that crews have been trying to clear. Bob, some fans have been waiting outside here at Rally House since midnight wanting to get the latest gear. Now this store wasn't open late last night, but there are some other stores that were. Over the past three weeks, Kenzie Garber has traveled over 3,000 miles. But Miss Missouri has finally made it back home. More than a dozen threats have been made on Yik Yak two campuses in the past year. Even Benedictine and Northwest Missouri State University were targeted. Experts say if you don't take care of your tree properly, it can ignite from the smallest of sources. Reports say 30% of tree fires is due to electrical failures or malfunctions. By stuffing dog homes like this one with hay, it helps keep insulation inside so they can stay warm through the cold months. This fire suit and the oxygen tank weighs more than 20 pounds. And when wet, it makes it difficult for firefighters to fight flames and below freezing temperatures. Flooding damages in Buchanan County are causing issues for farmers. Their crops are underwater and turning their fields into lakes. Travelers driving on 136 Highway can't help but to slow down when spotting this sculpture. Police say it takes about 30 seconds for someone to break into a car to grab what they're going for. Doctors say that humans can carry the virus on their clothes once they've come in contact with a dog that has it, passing it from one dog to another. Places like Horizon Outdoor sell gear like helmets and gloves to keep you protected. And each ATV comes with a booklet for tips on safe riding. There are multiple stops along the bike route, just like this one, who are giving away or selling bottles of water and Gatorade to the traveling cyclists. Getting HIV tested is as simple as a prick on the finger, and it only takes 15 minutes to get the results. This may look like an ordinary grapevine found at a vineyard, but for Missouri's economy, it looks more like dollar signs. A dual county high-speed chase in St. Joseph earlier today ended with two people in custody. Good evening, I'm Devin Negretti. Five law enforcement agencies assisted in the chase. Police say it's those efforts that gave this chase a successful ending. Driving up to 90 miles per hour. This Chevy Avalanche tried to flee from police after a reported domestic dispute Sunday afternoon. We'd received a call about a domestic between a male and female, um, the National Guard and Armory. Um, when officers arrived, they observed male uh, 
assaulting the female, then forced her into the vehicle. They attempted to stop the vehicle. The vehicle fled. The chase that began in St. Joseph quickly moved on to 71 Highway, into Savannah, and throughout Andrew County, recruiting more officers. During the chase, they kept changing directions and stuff like that. So uh, with limited number of people, it's hard to get somebody out in front of them to try to deploy spikes or anything like that. At some point, the male and female switched drivers. At the time that they stopped, female was driving, male was passing. They had switched at some point during the chase and eventually made their way onto K Highway in St. Joseph. It was coming towards south, and you could hear it clear as day about a minute before that you could even see it. Zachary Sample heard the car coming onto St. Joseph Avenue from K Highway while standing in his front yard. You could hear the rim flattening out on the concrete, and there was about nine police all behind him trying to stop him and he just kept on going. It was crazy. Shortly after Sample saw the cars, the chase ended in the Burger King parking lot off of St. Joseph Avenue. This is an image a viewer sent in of one of the two drivers taken into custody. The subject finally decided to uh, just pull over and stop for us here in the parking lot. Um, without everybody's help and everybody working together, we wouldn't have had the uh, manpower to uh, get us where we are. It's that manpower that brought the chase to an end without any injuries. I appreciate it for real because there's a lot of innocent lives on the on the road that could be hit or injured by this man or woman having all the different agencies work together is really what brought this to the conclusion that authorities were able to slow the drivers down by laying down spikes to flatten their tire the St. Joseph and Savannah Police Departments along with the Buchanan and Andrew County Sheriff's Departments and the Missouri State Highway Patrol all assisted in the chase the man has warrants out for his arrest. Reporting live in St. Joseph. Reporting in Osborne, Missouri. Reporting live in studio. Reporting live at Rally House. Reporting in Kansas City, Devin Negretti, KQ2 News.